Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here, and today we are here with the 2010 World Cup game, as usual, most of the time anyway. This time we're doing it with Andorra. The reason why is because I was going to start the Maldives series, but I'm not feeling too great today, so I kind of want a little bit of a pick-me-up, and I kind of wanted to pick a nation I wanted to do, and I figured I wanted to do Andorra, so we're going to go do a little mini run with Andorra, and see how far we get. Hopefully it'll perk me up a little bit. Alright, here we go, into the group stages then. Let's see what kind of group we got. We have got a group with, if I can actually see it, in Group A, we've got Greece, Latvia, and New Zealand. First match then, is against New Zealand and this is the one I'm kind of hoping to take because New Zealand I think are like a two star team so that's only one star above Andorra and Andorra I consider Andorra to be one of the better one star teams. Andorra are quite an interesting little nation to be honest because they do actually score a few times in World Cup qualifying like I have seen them like bend in free kicks and I'm fairly sure uh, it was even a Euro qualifier or um, in a World Cup one they, they scored like a long shot against uh, one opponent and I was like wow like like Andorra like got a good attack like sort of thing for a one star team anyway. So like I said we'll definitely do the Maldives um, next after this gameplay after this one definitely. I was going to do it but I just wasn't feeling too great today so like I said hopefully this can perk me up a little bit even if we go out on the group stage you know I love playing this game and it does make me feel happy. What I'm hoping for for Andorra right now, well the group I have, round of 16, at least round of 16. Oh that would have been a good through ball but unfortunately cut out by the New Zealand defence. Very very cagey game and Andorra making it cagey. New Zealand are really resilient here, they're so like defensive. Like I had runs like this about a thousand times now, can we stop it? Like can we have like a decent you know, one star run again. Well, you know, at the moment, this is an impressive draw for Andorra, to be honest. Not a bad way to start off a World Cup, but not the one I wanted. But we could get something here if they want to. Whip it in. Oh, you missed the header. That was probably our first attack. And, um, yeah, it's been a bit dull at the moment. The way we drew against New Zealand. You know what? I kind of wanted to win that. But we'll take the draw anyway. A point is a point, and um, even though it was a bit boring, still a point. So Greece did beat Latvia, so yeah, Andorra would be happy with a uh, no no draw on New Zealand. Of course they would be. Oh, we got Greece now, okay, so that complicates things a little bit, because Latvia will be going to be going against um, New Zealand, and that's kind of a hard one to call. It's going to be a really tough one, because obviously Greece are a really good team, and we are ranked 198th in the world at the time of this game coming out so uh, hard to call but we were really good defensively in the first game maybe we can take it into this game you know immediately I just noticed that Andorra were already set in defensive mode already like they were already set up like that in defensive what no you want them in attacking you want to get goals not like defend leads like that we don't have I knew that was going to happen. All they needed was a BS cross and Gekka scores. I'm getting sick and tired of that move by the computer. Now the computer would just do that and then that'll be it. Game over. I knew going attacking against Greece would be a little bit of a risk. We still need to be in attacking because none of the Andorran players are going forward. And it's just a joke at this point. You know what? I'm going to change the formation. I'm going to change it because it's just a little bit negative. It's negative beyond belief. It's just, oh. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Greece are just, this is the problem sometimes when playing a world class run. Like the computer would just do stuff like this and there's nothing you can do. You just gotta hope that that is in your favor. I knew Greece would beat me, but damn. Like Greece are just stealing the ball off of me constantly and then doing this, playing it around nicely there's loads of room for the Greeks to do whatever they want they keep firing in those crosses and it keeps working against me it's very frustrating very frustrating you just don't know how annoying it is but we are one nil down at half time we have no no shots again like 
what was it like? I don't understand it, man. Like, it feels like I'm playing against another person, not on AI. It really does. Look at that. Are you kidding me right now? That was ridiculous by Greece. Like, I can't believe they didn't score, to be honest. I'm getting no space on the ball, no time on the ball. It's just, it's mental. It is absolutely mental. It is absolutely mental. Like, I just don't understand what is going on here. Like, I'm really trying to force the ball through. And I just can't do it. I just don't know how to get past this side. Look at that. Like, I just can't get anything. And then I tackle them the exact same way. And it just doesn't work. Look. Look, I'm all over this guy. The Gekus is just ridiculously overrate. It really is. It really is so frustrating when I can't get anything going or oh my god why did I think Andorra would be a good run <laughs> now they put on Metroglou who's gonna probably header it in from the corner even there like it's just been a masterclass and Andorra have just sat there and done nothing about it and I really hope that Latvia roll over for us because we are fucked if we don't here we go then our final group stage match is against Latvia so hopefully we can get some points here, maybe? I mean, I don't know how good Latvia are um, against me. I don't... Have I played them? I think I might have played them once or twice, but yeah, with Andorra, I don't know. They're very sleepy. Very, very sleepy at the moment. Like, no goals at all. None. I've only conceded one, so they're literally a defensive team. They literally start off in defensive. Look, watch this. Ready? I'll change it right now. It's already in defensive. No, like, what's that all about? don't want it in defensive, we want to balance Dandora at the start and then move into attacking or defensive or something like that. That's a good through ball, we might actually get a shot off here, possibly. Yes, Andorra has scored, finally! That's our first shot and Andorra has scored it, literally the guy Andorra has scored for Andorra. Wow, okay, that's 1-0, nice one, we're in the driver's seat now. All we have from, well, one through ball, and it was a nice little finesse shot into the, the back of the net there. I thought I was going to get caught up and, um, you know, dealt with easily. Look, that was so aggressive by the AI. Look at this. I just can't get the ball out of my own hat. What is going on? Stop it, man. Go on, diving header. Oh, my God, you missed a sitter. That could have been 2-0. That was a great cross, and he found his way past. He did like a little fish dive, but no, unfortunately for Andorra, wasn't to be. Could have been two. I just can't believe how like ridiculously like on point the AI has been like in any of these matches. Like it's just been absolutely nuts. Like I can't really express it to you really that well, but. If you've ever played this on World Class, sometimes the AI is just ridiculous. Andorra could pull off the shock of the century by going through in the group stage here. You know, drew against New Zealand, fair enough. Lost against Greece, 1-0. In a position where we're about to get knocked out. And now we're winning against Latvia. Look, they close you down, like, so quickly. And then they just go, right, here we go. Pass to him, pass to him, pass to him. And then then over the top, through ball. Then uh, cross it in early into the box. Header, goal. 1-0. It's like, what the hell? Oh, that was actually um, a great clearance. Please, goalkeeper, be more alert to that. We can't be giving away corners in that situation. My goodness, I'm getting frustrated. Because... I know that the computer is going to force in a goal, and then I'll be out. Okay, here we go. Fernando Silva. He's slow as fuck. Oh my god, he scored? What? He took it on his other foot and scored from seemingly nothing. I thought I was going to get tackled, and Fernando Silva has scored. Look at this. He goes through here. I'm like, oh, I'll just have a shot. And he just, maybe I caught it on the right foot. Maybe I was already on my wrong foot. But that was a really good goal. And Andorra 2-0 up. This has made me feel good now. At the moment, anyway. I hope we don't blow this. This will be good momentum as well when we get into the round of 16. Or if we get into the round of 16. Look at that ball there. Look at that. 
That is the most insane thing I've seen in this gameplay. That is ridiculous. Oh, ooh, they missed a hell of a chance to get one back, but it doesn't matter. We beat them, and I think Andorra are through. Hopefully they are. Please, the, the glitch, please don't happen today. I'm not in the mood for it. Like, that was a really good win, and I've had to restart because of the glitch. I'm not letting that lie, by the way. I'm not letting it go. I'm not going to be like, oh, the glitch happened, you know, whatever, run over. So we have to play that again now because of the glitch. Thanks for that. Look at that. They attempted a shot from that far out because they knew that they might have scored. That is ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous. Right, there we go. We got it back. We got one back. Okay, we're back on level turns. Andorra again, the goal scorer. Oh my god, this run, man, honestly, it's full to the brim of BS. I was like, yeah, I want to, like, cheer myself up today. No, it's actually made it ten times worse. <laughs> Please, stop it. That's a really good ball. Header, yes! What a goal! What a goal! Just, just, Marcio, you are a legend, a legend, an absolute legend, because that cross was insane. The, he got over the top of it, and the goalkeeper just watched it go into the net. That's a beautiful moment for Andorra. That was beautiful. We're going to beat these guys again. I don't care. If the glitch happens again after this, if I win, then, oh my god, I'll be so... So annoyed, honestly. I can't believe I'm 2-1 up. Like, when, like, I thought to myself, when that first goal went in for Latvia, I was like, I'm done for. I am done for, but we've turned it around. Now I've made myself feel better, guys. Yes, we won. Come on. We had to do it again because the game bullshitted us out and we did it again. So don't you dare do it again. Game, don't you glitch me out again. Nice, we got through. Round of 16 for Andorra and we're against Ukraine. Okay, so this is this is possibly where it ends, but that's fine. Technically, it would be a quarterfinal, really, but whatever. So if we do beat Ukraine, we've got Gambia and Holland to look forward to. Round of 16 time, finally, finally round of 16 time, and it's against Ukraine. Now, Andorra have done really well to get here. We had to beat Latvia twice in the group stage just to get through. And we had to um, draw against New Zealand as well. So, essentially, we got through for one win and one draw. You know, they haven't done too badly. Andorra, that, that moment, that header against Latvia. Oh, that, that just warmed my heart. That was such a good header. The way the goalkeeper looked at it. Oh, yes. So far, so good. I'd say that. Uh, not very comfortably. No, Shevchenko don't... Yes, good save by the goalkeeper to deny Shevchenko. And we're seeing a very good an opportunity for Andorra. Literally, Andorra is going through on goal. We slide. Oh my god, that was close by Andorra. All he had to do was just poke it a little bit to the right and it would have gone in. Ah, oh, always the way in these playthroughs, isn't it? Well, we got to half time and it's still nil nil, surprisingly. You know? Like Ukraine have had a few shots, especially Shevchenko going for on goal, but not yet, not yet. We're delaying the inevitable, I think. Andorra will not lay down, no, really not. There's still nil nil between these sides. And oh if only I got that through ball off, I could have maybe pushed for a goal there. You know what the weird thing is? Andorra still kind of have their stamina. Like, they kind of do. Wow, that was a good shot, but it just went wide. They kind of do. Most of them do. Yet, Ukraine, most of their players are out of stamina. So, we should be going through here. So, maybe Andorra's game is to, like, wear out an opponent defensively and then try and hit them on the counter-attack, maybe. So here comes Rotan. Oh, get out. Get out! Oh my god, are you kidding me? That was a towering header by Mileski in the 90th minute. 
Oh my god, he was just taller than me. That's all that I can say. Like his character model is huge on the pitch. I mean, he's down there. And he is bloody huge. Like, this game has been nothing more than a nightmare defensively for me. Because I have to keep trying to, like, defend against an onslaught of attack. And then whenever I try and go through, um, it's literally just, like, cut out, cut out. Mileski again, but had the save at that time. I don't know about that run, to be honest. It was full to the brim. And I mean full to the brim of BS. Okay, so Spain beat Holland 5-1 in the World Cup final, and Greece and Canada made it to the third place playoff. Okay, so that was your um, Andorra run on the 2010 World Cup game. I really hope you enjoyed it, even though I got kind of frustrated, but you know, sometimes that happens, I guess. I was kind of hoping to perk myself up, and to be fair, the wins against Latvia did perk me up quite well. So anyway, give it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Keep it loco, and I'll see you again for the next video.